Hi and welcome back to another video. Atomos creates some of the best HDR monitor recorders on the market and in this video I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Atomos Ninja 5 to the latest firmware. Okay, here I have my Atomos Ninja 5 and the first thing I'm gonna do is to verify which firmware version is currently installed. To get to the settings I'm gonna to touch the audio meter bar but you can also touch the top bar and it will bring you to the settings too. Next, we are going to scroll to the end by sliding your finger left and we're going to hit the info tab. And as you can see, I'm on the version 10.1. Now I'm going to format my SSD. Plug in your SSD. And scroll to the right and hit the media tab. You can see that it set zero bytes capacity because I'm using a new SSD. Now we hit format. It's going to give you a prompt saying that everything will be deleted. So make sure you back up everything. Hit format drive. Once we have formatted, we are ready to go. I'm just going to show you that it now displays the correct space available. So we are going to go to the settings, media. And as you can see, now it shows two terabyte capacity from my Samsung SSD A60. Now, we're going to go to the computer and download the file. Okay, now we are in our PC. As you can see, we connect our SSD. Here is our new formatted SSD, the Ninja 5 in drive E. So we're just going to lower it down. Now we're going to go to the Atomos website. Here's the Ninja 5 website. So we're going to go to the support. Here is the 10.31 new firmware. So we're just going to Proceed and download this firmware. Once we have downloaded this firmware, I'm just going to download it to the desktop. So we hit save. Now we can close the um, browser. And here is our Atomos firmware. We have to extract it because it's in a compressed file. So we just hit extract. We're going to extract it to our desktop right here so we're just going to copy and paste this into our ssd we can copy and paste it or we just just can drag it and drop it inside your ssd once we do that that's all we have to do in the computer so we're just going to proceed and eject our ssd so we're just going to close our window we're going to go to the bottom click that arrow hit the usb drives and eject our ninja SSD drive. So once we do that, now we're going to go back to the um, Ninja 5 and we start proceeding the, with the upgrade. And by the way, all the links are in the description. So you can go check those links. You got the links for the firmware so you can download it from the Atomos website. Also, the USB to SSD adapter is going to be also in the affiliated links below. It is recommended that it is a 3.0 USB adapter, so make sure that you go check those links if you need one. And now let's go to the Ninja 5. Okay, now we're gonna proceed and turn on my monitor. I turned it off when I was on in the computer, so just turn it on. And just to double check that I'm still on 10.01, I'm just gonna go to the settings, I'm gonna go to info, and as you can see, I'm still on 10.01. So now I'm gonna hook up the SSD. And once I hook up the SSD, I'm going to be prompt right away with a warning, firmware update available, new Atom OS. So we click OK. And now we just wait to do the update for the firmware. So if you like this video, just don't forget to hit a like. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified when I do uploads on the channel and post new videos. And once we are done, as you can see, it just turned off. I'm just going to remove the SSD. Once I remove the SSD, I'm just going to reboot the Ninja 5. Once I boot up the Ninja 5, I should be now in the new firmware. So just to check, we're just going to go back to the settings. We're going to go scroll to the info tab. And as you can see, I'm already in version 10.31. So I'm just going to hook up the SSD to make sure that I just reformat 
my SSD before I reuse it in case the firmware is still in the SSD, but by default it should be removed. So I'm just gonna just reformat it, format, and I'm all set. And once again, guys, if you like this video, just don't forget to like and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel and you can follow me on my social media where I post information about new upcoming videos. Also, you can scroll to my channel and see other videos like this one. And thanks again and I'll see you on the next one.